Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Maddie Mae here. Um, thank you so much for coming back and thank you for coming if you're new. Um, I've got a really exciting video for you. Um, as you guys know, the last couple years I've been in my camping era. I didn't know how much I loved camping until I met Caleb. Now we camp all the time, so he's checking in right now. We just got to a state park and we're camping for about a week. Um, my last week of freedom before school starts. Um, I'm so excited for med school, but I am like soaking in every moment of this because I know that literally starting next Monday, I'm always gonna be thinking about when the next test is, when I need to do stuff for residency, when I need to do stuff for rotations. Like, I just know that a lot of stuff is about to be going down in the next four years, so I'm just gonna soak up this week and um, have as much fun and you know relaxation as I can. Right now it's 8.36, so we don't have much daylight left, so I imagine as soon as we get to our campsite, we're just going to set up. Um, we're gonna be here with Caleb and his brothers and parents, as well as his brother's girlfriend, so it'll be just a good old-fashioned adult time. It's gonna be chef's kiss amazing, but I wanted to intro you guys a little bit. Let me know if you think, like, in the next year or so, making a video about all the campsites Caleb and, I've, and I have been to and like ranking them and stuff would be something that you guys would be interested in because I feel like Caleb would be all about that. I was, he just got back in the car, but I thought of this idea where I made a video where we talk about all the places we've camped and we rank them or something like that. Do I think that would be a fun video? Yeah, that would be. So let's get to our campsite and I'll keep you guys in the loop this week. Thanks for watching. Happy you look. <laughs> this is so cozy under the trees here. It is. It might drip a little, but tomorrow it'll be great. Yes. And we can set up all of this we want here. Mm -hmm. What you doing? Um, just looking around. Kind trying to figure one. out where we should put our hammer. I, think it's, I don't like this branch. I wish this branch wasn't here. Yeah. So we might have to put it over here. This tree to this tree. Yeah. Get it. <laughs> Look at this right now, okay? Focus. Man, focus on this. My head is going, getting really hot. <laughs> wow. 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 Wow.
Show me a cookie. Is there trains around here? She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. We are on the boat. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. You see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she likes. Oh my God. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is she okay? Oh my God. Got sunburned. So do you wanna stay? I know I shouldn't be mad about. There'll be a brighter day Trying not to feel sad about it You know when they say that Time shouldn't be rushed And it's a new day when You know we've had enough My lightning, my thunder Alright guys, I've got Caleb in a hammock again reading and I thought in this video we would also give or we would give another book a uh, review because he ha is reading a different one than he was in the last video. So tell us about Ready Player One, Caleb. I'm a little less than halfway. Mm -hmm. It's really good. I've seen, I saw the movie when it came out with my dad and it was cool, I think. I don't really remember, but I do know that the book's way better so far. It's easier to read than the last book I read. Mm -hmm. I just think like the the way the conversations go and the details are very uh, much more easy to digest yeah, yeah. and exciting. And I you are pretty far in it. I get a lot of the references too. I, I like video games and movies and. My dad really likes stuff in the 80s, so I kind of just grew up knowing a lot of that stuff. So mm -hmm. I get a lot of the references, which is, I, I'm pretty sure what the author um, was into that same kind of stuff. So that's where you get a lot of those references from. Um, it's really good. It's easy to read and it's it's exciting. And I like it a lot better than the other one. Nice. So, yeah. Good. Michigan, right by Lake Michigan. Yeah, so if you look on the map, it's like the tippy top of Michigan. A little I, bit to the left of the tippy top. Yeah, a little bit to the left of the tippy top. But let me show you what we're looking at right now. Wow, beautiful. And people make fun of the Midwest. But it's currently Saturday. Um, I think it's like July 29th or something. So that's starts med school in a couple days just soaking it in in this cute little town but here Caleb's gonna film me I'm gonna show you guys the sweatshirt I just bought Caleb just bought for me guys this was only $16 how cute and it's like big and green and comfy and cozy and I'm just really excited about it that's all
a shiver, all the shadows fade away. <laughs> Hi guys, I don't know how well you can see me right now, but I wanted to turn on the camera um, and talk to you guys for a few minutes. I'm reflecting on like the clips and all of that that you just saw and I realized that I didn't really talk to the camera a lot. I think a lot of the times I was just like caught up in the moment and I just wanted to film what I could see. I didn't really have anything to say. Um, I was just enjoying the week because this was my last week and I feel like I've talked on social media a lot about starting med school and I'm justifying it for a few different reasons. One of the reasons is that I worked really hard to get here and I feel like I shouldn't just try and make myself smaller because I'm embarrassed about it. Um, I'm really proud of myself and so I think talking about it is like cool and awesome because I'm really excited and I worked really hard to be here. I also think I'm talking about it a lot because it's like kind of bigger to me than I'm really fully comprehending. These last two years have been so so um, just fulfilling for me. Um, college was fulfilling and learning is fulfilling and all of that is still true but these last two years of just having a job, having the weekends off, getting a stable paycheck and using that money how I will has been really really cool. These past few years, past two years I have learned a lot about healthcare and science and medicine while also falling in love and saving money and purchasing things that I've been wanting to but I never could because I didn't have the money to and going camping and seeing the Midwest more and traveling and being able to go see friends when I want to see friends and it's just been really freeing these last couple years and I think that although there's like half of me that's just like overwhelmed with excitement for med school there's also half of me that's like mourning what's ending and it's scary it's exciting and those two can be true at the same time so I don't know how I feel I feel just overwhelmed with emotion truly but this last week of just being in nature I couldn't have asked for anything to be more perfect for what I needed I'll just remember this last week of freedom forever it's all really good stuff but I just wanted to throw in this at the end of the video um, because it, it really does mean a lot to me for you guys to be part of this I know that I took a huge break off YouTube and stuff but um, I think in a lot of ways, like YouTube helped me get through college, YouTube helped me get through my breakup, YouTube has helped me through so many parts of my life and it would just make no sense if you guys didn't help me through med school too. So thank you so much for helping me pick up where I left off and having no hard feelings towards me. So um, yeah, I'm sure I look like crap because I've been traveling. Caleb just got a new job in Indianapolis where we live now, but that doesn't start for a couple weeks, so he's still working um, back in South Bend for a couple weeks. So there's going to be some days in the next vlogs where it's just me, but my cute boyfriend will be coming to live with me um, as soon as his new job starts here in Indianapolis, so that's exciting. I just feel so lucky to have him and you guys and my family and my friends, so stay tuned in the next video for um, my first week of med school. It's basically orientation week, so I don't know how I'm gonna frame it. I'm freaking out, lots of emotions, but I can't think of anywhere I'd rather be than where I am in my life right now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye!